Hi. You're on the Alice Reddit Stories channel. Subscribe to my channel as well as my Facebook page. There we can chat. The link is in the description of the video. Thank you. Enjoy watching. Story 1. Dying girlfriend wants to open our relationship for her last year of life. Thanks for taking the time to read this. I know it sounds like a crazy situation, and I feel stuck between a rock and a hard place. I'll try to keep it fairly short. Without getting into too many specifics about it, my M29 girlfriend, F27, has terminal cancer and isn't expected to survive another two years. The doctors say that she likely has about a year or so left of feeling okay enough to travel, do things like normal, and see the world. Then she'll start deteriorating and end up in the hospital for the final few weeks or couple of months. Of course this entire situation is devastating and it breaks my heart that we both know what's coming. When she was diagnosed, she said she understands if I wanted to leave so I don't waste my late 20s with someone that we both know there's no long happy life ahead with. Man I'm just sad even typing this out, that said, I have no intentions of leaving her over her diagnosis and plan on being there to support her through it all. We all know cancer is a shit show and I certainly don't want her to go through it alone. Ever since these initial discussions, We've been having as much fun as possible and planning trips all over the place. I wanted to do everything I could to keep her happy and give her the best life possible before she got really sick, that brings us to a recent discussion that I didn't expect. Long story short, she wants to open our relationship so that she can sleep with other people, men and women, while she's still able. Gut punch for sure, but I figured I would at least hear her out, her reasoning is twofold. First, it's that I'm dying, and I want the excitement of new people. And second, she says that as much fun as we have, there's always the gloom of what's going to happen hanging over us, and getting to go out and have fun with someone who has no idea what's going on seems like it'll really help her not to think about it. As far as reasons go for wanting to do something like this and risk our relationship, I can at least somewhat get it. I'm not saying she's in the right to ask me this just because she's dying, but I'm also not saying she's inherently wrong. I don't know what I would do if I was in her position. I would like to think that I'd just want to live the rest of my life with the person I love most and experience the world together, but I've never been told I had two years or less to live, get the idea of wanting to go out and have fun and feel free, but I of course hate the idea and what it might do to us. That said, I just feel stuck because she's dying and I love her to death, and I don't want to create any resentment in her life when she has so little of it left. I'm mad at her for putting me in this position, because I honestly don't see how we will last if she opts to do this. But then thinking of her in the hospital with no one by her side in her last few weeks breaks my heart. Or her coming home to an empty house on days where she has nothing else planned. It's just sad to think about. Don't forget to support my channel by subscribing, thank you. Story 2. My partner recently became disabled and I don't know what to do. My partner had a mental breakdown earlier this year, and his doctor put him on a cocktail of different prescriptions for just about anything that might be causing the symptoms. I was there through everything, hospital trips and appointments, I took on all the household tasks and finances, and I had to become a full-time carer to him. I was coping okay with work and caring for both him and our child, but then the cocktail of meds caused damage to his organs and suddenly everything was terrifying. We didn't know how much damage was caused, or how long it would take to heal, or which organs were damaged. Well we got our answer. He will never work again, and I will be his full-time carer for the rest of his, hopefully normally long, life. I'm ashamed of how hard this hit me, I didn't say anything but I often cried and let it all out when no one was around. Mostly I wanted him to be healthy and happy again, but also I won't lie I had been waiting and hoping for the day when we would finally have two wages coming in again. I felt like all my dreams died. I told a friend what had happened and she said I should use an ultimatum that he either had to get well or get out of my life. I was even more hurt by that, 
He isn't going to magically get better if I throw a hissy fit. And I can't stress this enough, this man is my soulmate. He is everything to me, my best friend, the love and light of my life. I do know that everything could have played out much worse, and I don't want to be overdramatic, but everything is really hard right now, and I am struggling with the weight of it all. Some days I feel so exhausted I can hardly take care of myself after sorting out my partner and our child. I'm very very tired. My partner is depressed about how useless he is, in his eyes, and says he feels like he's not even a man anymore. He's never been the toxic masculinity type, he is more of a homemaker than me, so I was shocked to hear such old-fashioned ideas. I think he's just sad and shocked about the past year maybe? But I really need him to get back to feeling less depressed, even if it only makes his life 10% easier, so I'm kinda on here begging for any advice for making him feel more like a manly provider. If there are any people out there in similar situations who can help me find ideas for enrichment activities or hobbies that might make him feel a little bit more like my hero, which he is. He just can't feel it anymore. Story 3. GF, 21F, slept with someone a few days before we, 23M, became official. Me and my GF have been dating for two months and everything is great. We have known each other for years and reconnected over the summer and began dating. We are in love with each other, now talk about kids in the future and everything, last night we were playing we're not really strangers card game and an answer came out and she admitted that a few nights before we became official she slept with another dude. This dude, I knew about then and was someone she was talking to for a while, but she decided she wanted to be with me as me and her were talking seriously for a couple months before this and knew about this particular situation the day it happened, but I was told she just slept over there because she was drunk. A couple days after it happened she told me you know when you drink and forget things, she was going to tell me that something happened but I told her that I didn't even want to know if something did and we didn't talk about it until last night when she told me something did happen. I definitely connected the dots then but hoped it wasn't true so I kinda avoided it. She told me last night more about that night slash next morning and how she instantly regretted it and felt bad. Technically nothing done was wrong since we weren't official until a few days later but still kinda sucks. I know I technically walked into this so I can't hold any of this against her which I don't and we weren't exclusive or dating. She showed remorse and even felt bad last night talking about it two months later, but should I even feel off about this still? TLDRGF slept with someone she was talking to as well a few days before we became official and told me last night that something actually did happen. I knew kinda about it but didn't have it confirmed until now and she regretted it then and still feels bad about it. Not sure how I should exactly feel about it even though I kinda knew about it walking into this relationship and everything is great now. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel, there are a lot of interesting stories ahead of you.